My name is Clark and I'm here to say that Paladin win rate's not okay. We got a brand new meta in Hearthstone thanks to Whizbang's workshop, but I'm here to tell you that, well, it's just another Paladin meta. It's just another time for Paladin to be on top, but this is just what happens in Hearthstone. Paladin and Hunter are always the classes that are going to bully the unrefined decks because these decks are just, honestly, they kind of build themselves. Finding the perfect 30 is always difficult, but Paladin and Hunter decks are just naturally going to feast on the slower unoptimized decks but it is just really like just like wow it is really shocking to see druid at a 35 percent win rate but in all honesty they got a lot of spell damage cards and spell damage druid is really not that good maybe i'll have to get in the kitchen and see what i can cook up with druid to maybe bring it back like i did with undead druid but the point of this video is that paladin is busted and all of the stats seem to say that everyone is playing paladin and paladin is very good at all of the servers right now hand buff paladin sitting on top there's even an aggro paladin list i'm not really sure how solidified all these archetypes are but i can definitely tell you with my legend grind we've been playing against hand buff paladin control warrior this tempo demon hunter seems really really fun and interesting and there have been a couple of highlander shamans and of course the infamous wheel warlock but what's really really interesting to point out is that rainbow dk is one of the most popular decks in legend and i've just been hearing a lot of people complain about plague dk but so far the stats are saying that more people are playing rainbow specifically in legend and it's the same thing in diamond Four through one like people really love rainbow dk but when you get in top legend most people are playing hand buff paladin and they are most likely playing this list that habu gabu hit rank one legend with with the most insane win rate that i've seen in a while habu hit rank one legend with the deck that i just showed you and just 75 and 25 just just sit with that win rate for a second this is in top legend 75 25 i believe these games were played before the boom of, of hand buff paladin so that kind of puts things in perspective so i don't think anybody else is going to be able to mimic these results but this is like this is like the patient zero i would argue for hand buff paladin outside of zacco's list because this was the first time that someone really thought about going all in on the excavate packages and i really like how the list ended up but i will say that i do not believe this is the best version of hand buff paladin out there right now there's another version of the deck that's playing like tailors and playing deck hands that i believe might be a little bit more powerful and i've actually cooked up my own list that I will be streaming over twitch.tv slash Clark Hellscream later today. But I want to use this opportunity to say that this deck is 100% beatable. If you're someone who thinks that Paladin is completely unbeatable, watch the gameplay coming up ahead. I am intentionally leaving a couple of losses so that way you can see and identify the weaknesses of this deck because this deck really is dependent on the success of the weapon. And that is why we have two weapons and two copies of the uh, instrument tech in order to get the weapon. So what this deck is trying to do is that it's pretty much not trying to play minions in the early game unless you're playing like a miner or a gold panner in order to get some extra value but you play your instrument tech if you're on coin you just play instrument tech on two and then coin the weapon on three it's the most busted thing in the world i'm not gonna lie i don't understand why this card has lifesteal and we'll get into the lifesteal issue here in a second but oh my dear lord this deck is really really powerful because it just makes gigantic minions it makes gigantic minions you've got leroy that could be gigantic you could stack deputization aura now sit on that for a second you could you could stack the auras now which means if you wanted to you could play double crusaders aura and paladin that happened to me yesterday it was absolutely disgusting but yeah double deputization aura there's a reason why we're going all in on the uh, excavate so that way shroomscavate doesn't just seem like a really awkward card and only being used as a win condition there are times where you can actually feel comfortable tempoing out the shroomscavate when you don't have lethal by either getting a really good trade giving a minion divine shield that already had divine shield if you decide to use it on like a tiger plushie oh yeah tiger plushie is by the way really really nuts because of how much hand buff that you have having a one mana one one with lifesteal rush that you can and divine shield that you get to buff like this deck has just so many synergies that it's absolutely ridiculous the one thing i do not know if i'm sold on though in this particular deck and i have put this in my version of hand buff paladin is that i believe the perfect zilliax is actually not perfect and twin this is like the thought process behind this is that you have a really big zilliax really big comeback turn and since you're spending the turns buffing it it, it makes a lot of sense right well what happens if you decide to use Stealth, Elusive, Poisonous, and Reborn, and double the attack of the minion. I think this is the best combination because it starts off as a two attack minion, but then as you keep buffing it in hand, suddenly it becomes a three attack, a four attack, maybe even a five attack. You slam it on the field, stick it for two turns. It almost feels like what Shade of Noxramus felt like back in uh, back in the Noxramus days because it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And if your opponent doesn't have a way of dealing with stealth minions, 
game is over. So that might be the way to actually play Zilliac. So I don't think this is the perfect 30, but I really do believe if you want to play Excavates, if you're really somebody that likes to play the hand buff dragon, then I believe this deck does have a lot of game right now. So I, I don't know. What do you guys think about Paladin right now? Do you think it's too broken? Do you think that it's beatable? I really do believe that the first two games coming up are going to sell some of you that Paladin is beatable, but I will go ahead and spoil it a little bit. Some of these decks were very heavily teched against us, and there wasn't really a lot that we could have done about that. But the point is, Paladin is beatable. Paladin is very good right now if you're just trying to have an easier deck that can climb the legend, but the meta is going to develop. I believe that Paladin will find, uh, you know, a weakness that it suddenly can't beat, and suddenly we're going to have a new meta emerge in about a week or so. But I definitely believe that if Paladin stays at this win rate, Blizzard might need to adjust this deck a little bit. I'm looking at Deputization Aura and Lifesteal cards. This deck has way too much lifesteal. Like, way, way too much lifesteal. And don't forget, if you do enjoy this kind of content, feel free to like this video, subscribe to the channel, maybe check out the Patreon, become a patron, get some extra perks like deck optimization, shoutouts, and coaching. I'm doing coaching now, dude. It's kind of crazy. But regardless, thank you so much for making it to the end of this intro, and we'll see you for the next video. All right. So, uh, I've done a little bit of damage. I, I, I've taken some damage. We, you know, uh, take a, take a lick and keep on ticking, right? Okay, hold on a minute. I'm supposed to keep this, right? This just seems like really good, especially if I hold it on to the hand in order to get hand buffed. But at the same time, aren't I supposed to like mulligan for like instrument tax and stuff? I mean, we're always playing this on one, but at the same time, do we even want to play it on one? The mulligan's not even that high. This is gonna look a little weird. I don't know, against Warrior? Against Warrior, I don't need a 1-1. One, one. There we go. That's that's those are the cards that we need. Now hand buff. Yeah, we're gonna be playing some uh some new lists that I saw. This is uh apparently a list that Habu hit rank one with. Uh and he went 75 and 25. Um what? You heard me correctly. 75% win rate over a hundred games? That is absolutely crazy. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to play 100 games and I'm going to have to see what my win rate is. All right, well, I really don't want to coin out uh, a three drop here. I'd rather just coin out the four. So that way we could just, oh, uh, well, that's, that's hilarious, actually. That's actually hysterical, dude. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's, that's the funniest thing that I've seen all day today. That's like actually the funniest thing I've seen today. So I just do this, right? Because I'm not just going to coin the weapon on the possibility of him playing a, a Viper. If he's playing Glacial Shard, dude, he could be playing Viper. I actually have to respect that. That's crazy. Because, like, the only the only reason to coin this out would be if I was playing a 4-drop next turn. Okay, what? Is this the new Odin Warrior? Because, like, I've seen this before. This honestly is not that crazy. But it's just whack that we're seeing it right now. And the Warrior's already drawn half their deck by turn 4. I do like the South Sea deckhands, but I prefer uh, Excavates. See, I don't know what's better yet. Yo, thank you. I honestly don't know what's better yet. Like, I, I didn't want to play Paladin at first. Because, like, I'm not going to lie. I, I kind of hate that, like, there's always, like, the Paladin deck that rises above everything. But it's just what happens at the begin beginning of an expansion. People just play Paladin for some reason. I don't know what. Dude! It's my first game with this deck. Can you chill? This is my first game with this deck. Can you chill? Chill. Bruh. Let me play cards. I haven't even played my cards yet. Okay, hold on. That's something. Dude, what the fuck? Like, we got the Wind Fury. We at least got the Wind Fury. Did I see Habu's tweet? This is literally what we're playing. This is, this is literally what we're playing. And I imagine that, like, this guy's trying to counter Paladin or something. Because now, like, Paladin can be beaten. Like, I know that Paladin can be beaten, but it's kind of crazy, you know, the idea of someone even going 75 and 25. But naturally, when I play a deck for the very first game, I'm getting absolutely fucking giga-rolled. I'm getting giga-rolled because my opponent had double freaking shard. Like, my hand would be amazingly thick right now. It would be so good right now, but as a... a but, God damn it, man. I swear to God, I'm the unluckiest person to pick up this game. All right, here we go. Maximum tempo. I, I gotta, I gotta lay down something. He's at 42. Maybe we get Wind Fury again. What happened with the Shaman deck? Which one? The Tendi Shaman. Tendi Shaman kind of evened out. 
It did really well at first, but then it just stopped working. Unfortunately, it's just a classic example of like a deck that just kind of defeats itself at times. But there's a reason I'm this rank right here, man. I, I, I got a little too goofy with the experimentation. But then like, I was also trying to play Wheel Warlock and, and, I, and I kept losing the mirror. And I kept losing the mirror in the stupidest way. And I really do mean the stupidest way. The, the way that I kept losing the mirror, it was so frustrating. I kept losing the mirror because like it was it was they would had coin. My my warlock opponents had coin and they would coin Doomkin Doomkin. And it was just go it was just Jover. It was just fucking good. it was just GG. Good job. You drew, you drew the good card. It's it was it was actually disgusting. And I can't believe it happened twice. It literally happened twice in a row. Quark Quark was there spectating me. I have a witness. <laughs> I have a witness, dude. I'm so unlucky in the mirror. I think it's just a skill issue. Man, it's really annoying because both of those games, I shit you not. Both of those games, I kept Doomkin in my hand. Cause I know I know it's the nuts. But if you're but if your warlock opponent has coined Doomkin, it's legitimately over. It's 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 actually a case of whoever has the first Doomkin wins. And if you have the coin and perfect draw, then if you're going second, you will always win the mirror. Like that's terrifying. The more I think about it, that's actually terrifying. The Warlock wheel matchup is quite literally a coin flip. Not because of the who plays the wheel first, but who plays the first Doomkin. Like, that's just crazy, is it not? Alright, we're going, we're going for maximum board, man. I just, I just don't have anything else I can really accomplish here. If I had a nickel for every double Doomkin and Wheel Warlock mirror, he would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, dot, 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 in a row. It happened twice in a row. Like, that, that's the thing that boggles me, man. Like, I, I knew the deck was good, and I, it was the good meta call at the time. God damn it, man. He's almost at the end of his deck. Why does he want to be at the end of his deck? Where's the Odin? Is Odin, like, actually just the bottom card? I mean, I don't know if I'm winning this, man, because he plays Reno next turn, right? This guy's the luckiest person in the world. This is this is a horrible first game. Oh, he's playing Boom Boss. Oh, I'm especially fucked now. Well, that was that was that was fun. There, there's no out. I can't excavate. Transforming doesn't help. Like the only thing that would help me would be a dirty rat, and I and I don't got a rat. So GG, I guess. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, dude. That guy, that guy had the perfect draws, and he played the shards at the perfect time. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie, man. That, that was that was the fucking ladder tax if I've ever seen it. Okay, so why does this have number two on it? Is it literally just because it's an excavate card? I don't want to keep a five. But then again, actually, it is correct. Cause think of it this way: we play this on two, we play the weapon on four, swing with it, swing with it on five. This gets plus two, plus two. It's an eight seven with rush. And I already have my turn two and turn four. And I honestly don't want to play anything on turn one. So this is the nuts. So I will I will just get rid of the Amatis. Why the fuck is two? Two what? Oh, come on. Really? Real? Dude, really? Really? 75 and 25. And these are my first two games. Like, why? Dude, if I top deck weapon, I, I, I don't know if I can play this deck. I'm just, just complete skill issue. All right, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord at least one thing went right. It didn't go wrong today, actually. It's not even that it went right. It didn't go wrong. Jesus. Some of them don't have the excavate package. Yeah, I, I wasn't sold on the excavate package for literally this reason right here. The deck just seems a little bit slow. Do I almost have this deck entirely golden? I have Golden Leroy. I don't have Tarum, Gnome, or Amatis. Or yeah, actually, I have all the legendaries not golden, so never mind. But everything else, man, like look at that. It's just so purdy. Alright, so here here's how Paladin just wins, right? Just make big minion. Big minion stick shroomscavate. And it's like, I guess this is the reason why um you're playing the Excavate. Because not only is it more hand buffs. Oh come on. 
Ev everyone is immediately countering this deck. I, I, I might need to switch and, and uh, adapt to the meta. This is going to continue. But holy crap, man. I guess we just still tempo this anyway because it gets the trade. We get another draw anyway. We can play this into um, this into one, maybe. Oh, yeah. Panner will make him golden. That's right. My, my entire deck is golden as long as this boy survives. But why didn't this get golden? Damn it, bro. He's lazy. He's getting lazy. I should, I should, I should, uh, get him some new clothes, so that way he's, uh, more, in, more enticed to work, you know? Oh, really? Wow. Alright, that's good. That was very good. So, do we just keep slamming minions? I don't know. I think, like, it's always weapon into trade. In all honesty, I could just tank the seven. Tank the seven, I go back, I go back to, uh, 25. And then I could just play this little minion. It's probably actually just better to play the instrument tech. Just mana. All right, here we go. I mean, it's a three, four, why not? Just play it. This has rush. Better to hold on to it in hand and keep buffing it. I don't know, man. Like, I'm getting picked apart. Why do I feel like I'm getting picked apart right now? Like this guy is in a situation that he's just chilling. Oh my God. I'm, I'm the unlu I'm the unluckiest Hearthstone to Hearthstone. Like, what the hell? Come on. Two games in a row. Is this is this deck really this common? I went to what bed and woke up. Going to sleep was a mistake. Because apparently I missed a very important change in the meta. Oh my good lord, dude. This, I, t first two games. For imagine if I didn't if I didn't know that Habu went tw 75 and 25 with this deck, I would think this deck is garbage. But I'm just getting Omega countered. Holy God! At, at, at least at least let me get up before you knock me down. Jesus Christ! Do I feel like this is a black expansion for the 10th anniversary expansion? I mean, that's way too soon to say that. I mean, it's whether or not uh like. At top legend meta, you're going to see the worst that the expansion has to offer. Because the moment that something is giga busted, everyone's going to start playing it. And then you're going to have situations like this, where people are countering the popular thing. The, 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 the expan it's way too soon to say if this expansion is a flop or not. It's way too soon. Like, we got to let the me we got to let the meta breathe a bit before we start picking it apart. You know what I mean? Okay, so deputization aura plus this. What would Uther do? That's 6, 12, 14. So I gotta save that for a surprise lethal. Which means I can just set this to a 3, 7. And just, I can just temp up my entire hand. Make it as awkward as possible for him to play the wheel. And even if he does play which wheel turn? into 14, uh, into 15, 15, it doesn't matter, right? We just need the stickiest the board that we can generate. Because now I have this. His 15-15 is a 1-1. One, one. GG. Alright. Maybe positioning, I should have put this on the far right. So that way, like, theoretically speak... Well, actually, this is going to summon a minion. I should have put these minions over here. This, this might have been a placement lull. But then again, he has the Reno, so... Eight cards a deck, by the way. No duplicates. Fantastic. Love to see it. Love to see it, man. Could play the poisonous just so that way the rush doesn't automatically kill it. Or is it just better to collide a source so that way I can get the dragon out next turn? I can still get the dragon out next turn anyway. Dude, I'm getting picked apart and I'm getting Omega unlucky. This is ridiculous. Two games in a row, it's like I I completely unwinnable. Reno should be 10 mana. Reno just shouldn't be in the game, if you want my honest opinion. <laughs> He's just too ridiculous of a card. Like, just, just look at how bad of a situation I'm in now because of it. It's just crazy. I think I just have to play the Deputization Aura because I'm gonna die in three turns. Like, if I don't kill him in three turns, we're never winning, right? We don't have another one. Actually, we do have another one, so yeah, we should just play it. Ugh. Reno's legit the most powerful card ever made. In terms of his ability, yes. Maybe not in terms of, like, his overall meta relevance, you know? Because maybe, like, Patches or Undertaker or, like, some some card from Hearthstone's past. Wait, what? Oh, my God. He's trying to tempo me, bro. I have I have exactly the card I need for this. 
I have exactly the card I need for this. Wait a minute, isn't the no, no? Oh wait, no. Yeah, this and a Numrella. This Numrella. Hmm. Maybe I don't play Numrella. Maybe I just try to stick to Divine Shields. So first off, this. This is always happening. Nice one ones. So he needs to get rid of everything, which means I need to make the stickiest board that I can. So we should do this. Because it helps us build up a bigger board next turn. Yeah, we're definitely leaving the one ones up. We're not playing Numrella. I mean, Numrella wouldn't be able to die anyway to kill them anyway. Maybe I should have put this over here. It maybe doesn't matter because, the, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. As long as we've got a hand buff minion on the field, Shroobscavate can we just win the game. We just need, we like, we just literally need one board to stick. <laughs> I played Rainbow and Plague uh, all last season. This Paladin is uninteresting to me. I hate this version of Warrior Sludge Lock. Uh, played that to Legend two seasons ago. Tenzo Shaman, I'll give you, is at least different. I mean, what's going on right now? Okay, Hearth Analysis, this is what's going on right now. Um, people are playing the older archetypes because the older archetypes are already established. It's really hard to make a new archetype out of nowhere. And technically, this is a kind of a new archetype, right? The hand buff, Excavate. Because Excavate Paladin was decent. It wasn't, okay. Mining Paladin was good at the very beginning, but then suddenly that deck crumbled when people figured out how to counter it and then the meta developed. We just need to have the meta develop, you know? Right now, right now, we're, 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 cook, we're cooking, we're cooking a cake. All right, we're, we're baking a cake, all right? The cake is not done baking yet. We cannot properly judge the cake and eat the cake until the cake is done baking. And it's gonna take a minute for this cake to finish baking. Exactly, we gotta, we gotta let them cook. We gotta, we gotta let the meta cook, bro. Once the meta, once the meta's done cooking, then Hearthstone is safe. Hmm. I guess I should just play this, right? The issue with playing it. No, I'm supposed to play it. Never mind. Boom! Everyone dead. I made a horrible discovery. Oh no! Lay it on me. I love horrible things in Hearthstone. Degenerate, degenerate things are my favorite. Also, yes, that is very true. What rank are you at right now, Hearth Analysis? Because that also paints a picture of why you're seeing the decks that you're seeing. Okay, another Forge. Oh boy! Oh boy. Oh, God damn it. I could deal with, with maybe one extra 15-15, but two? Dude, I'm getting giga rolled right now. This is this is honest to god ridiculous. I, I'm getting out tempoed. I, I got out tempoed this entire game. The double viper. I'm literally just getting countered. What the fuck, man? Like there's nothing I can do, right? You have a fraction of my Oh, that's just crazy, dude. That's just crazy, man. My first two games with this deck, I just get absolutely sh shat on. Dude, if I, if I lose the mirror, then I gotta play something else, right? Okay, okay, all right, good. Another good mulligan, okay. We got a, we got a good mulligan. This is great, this is fantastic. This is a really good mulligan, actually. This is damn near a perfect mulligan, correct? Play this, play this, play weapon on four, attack, attack, play buster, attack, play Kaleidosaur. Kaleidosaur has plus three, plus three, plus two bonus effects. As long as we don't get giga out tempoed, we're just fine, right? So we just play for the curve. And there might be a situation where we play this instead of playing this now. Okay, that's fair. Always play instrument tech. Nothing else that happened. Okay. <laughs> Is there ever a consideration to coin weapon, actually? Coin weapon would be really good, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's coin weapon, actually. One more coat of paint. It's decent, but Tigress over Buster is better in mirrors. I mean... Yeah, I mean, Tigress is just an insane card. It's just crazy. Alright, so this does not have Rush. None of these cards have Rush, except this guy. Alright, here we go. 
this this is the game. And if I get vipered in the mirror, then <laughs> ay ay ay, man. You're gonna love the way you look. Okay, Taylor. So he's playing the uh, the vicious syndicate deck. He's playing the vicious deck. So I could draw a minion, attack, summon three three with divine shield. So that way the tigers hopefully gets the buff. And then next turn I can play like Kaleidosaur to one drop, and I can play the Buster unless I really need to. Hmm. So we played the Trinket Artist. Because we want... Okay, that's that's not that's not bad either. That's not bad either. Alright, there we go. There we go. So this got buffed in hand. This doesn't get buffed because it's on the field. Next turn we can attack again. One less card in my hand. Hold on, this is three mana. Do I ever just throw this out because it's just gigantic chonky body? This does excavate a card, and then I play this. So this will go back to four, and then next turn on turn six, it will be three mana. So I could do like this into this or something. We actually do have a lot of options here. Yeah, we're in a, we're in a very good spot. I mean, this is, this is weapon versus no weapon. Like, he had this, but this is plus one, plus one versus plus three, plus three. You get your excavates out to buff it. So this is always happening. We could Burrow Buster Rush to take over the board. And I wonder if that's actually better. So that way we can go four drop and a double one drop next turn. And also we, we take him off the board. And then he's also got a nine eight to work with. Technically nine three, but he can trade into it. Do I even need to trade it to the board when I have no umbrella coming out next turn? Or do I save no umbrella? Okay, hold on a minute. Let's not throw the, the let's not throw the position here. This is this is a very important turn to play correctly. Which path to choose? I don't know. I'm liking Kaleidosaur in a one drop still because this is already going to be a six seven oh, with like extra stats maybe, plus a three three. I don't know. Burned. I could also just go this into into excavate next turn, right? Or I just <laughs> all right. That's that that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I need board control? Yeah, but I've got an umbrella. If I really needed it next turn, I got it. Right now, I just want to build up my my own board because I'm rolling higher than him, right? Which means if I throw a big, meaty board, every turn, he's got to worry about deputization Shroomscabate. This deck is getting nerfed, boys. I'll give it a week. I don't know about that. Like, I, I do agree that Paladin is... The Paladin win rate is, is bonkers right now. But that's usually how Paladin works, right? Paladin stomps at the beginning of the meta. The meta settles. People know how to counter this deck. Control decks are better able to tech themselves. We've already proven that this deck can be beaten. Like, I got Glacial Sharded and I got Vipered twice. If you stop the weapon, you stop this deck. So it does have a weakness. Like, I don't know if the weapon by one durability, I don't know if it needs it. There are ways to beat this deck, but if this deck can't be beaten at lower ranks, then they're gonna have to maybe do something. But it's way too soon to call for nerfs. All right, that is, oh, he's, okay. Sure. Yep, tear him OP, by the way. And now I can just Gnomerella get rid of the board. And I'm not even proccing the, the death rattle. This is more or less in Rage Warrior mixed with old uh, hand buff paladin. Yeah, and is that a bad thing? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. This actually gives me initiation, though. This is really good for, for me. I don't care if you have a 1 1. Okay, so I'm getting a 2 drop. So I think I want to play this into this, right? Maximum stats. And then next turn, I can go like this into this if I need to start clearing board. All right, there we go. There we go. See, this was the game. This is this is the game that shows how good this deck can be. But the first two games we had, we got stomped. <laughs> Reporting for duty. Okay, that's fine. Wait a minute. So how do we clean up here? We've got this plus Shroomscavate, right? Like, I could, like, attack... Do this, Shroomscavate, and then just stick the minion. How is he going to get rid of it? Rush Shroom? I don't think I want to play Rush. I think I want to play this, because getting rid of Divine Shield or hitting the 1-1 one, one is fine. This feels better than playing the Rush. I have Shroomscavate for double attack. 
And I guess I could just go wider on the field. Going wider is more important than getting rid of everything, right? That's my logic. All right, sweet. So this goes here. Do I just go face? Hold on a minute. No, we we sa we save the face for lethal. Right now, we just need to kill everything. Oh. Well, that just works too. <laughs> all right, yeah, dude, we're we're all mega winning this game. It's 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 over. It's so over. How 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 do you deal with this? How do you deal with this? That whoa. Hold on a minute, Stroops Cavade on that, dude. Wait a minute. Wait, I mean, okay, Finley would be the answer. You are right on that. Finley would be the answer to that. All right, I mean, he gains health. He does gain health. Oh my god! Should I have saved the AoE? I should have saved the AoE. Okay, this is actually, this is, this is my fault, actually. Because I knew these were in hand. I should have known something like this was possible. I, I really despise Deputization Aura, by the way. I, I think that's the problem with this deck is Deputization Aura. But that's a conversation I don't feel like the Hearthstone community is ready for. They could just Zilliax and just trade here. Yeah. Alright, whatever. I mean, I don't think I can lose now, but holy crap, what a, what a comeback. What a I thought I thought the game was over. <laughs> and for the game, not I mean, the game is over. And for, for all the intents and purposes, the, the game is over. Because now I get the... Oh, wait, is that just lethal? Uh, not... Wait, eight... No, yeah, nine, eight... Okay, it's not lethal. So we just do this instead. Oh, boy, we got some big boys. Very, very big. Very big boys. Could I try making Excavate Shaman? I think Excavate Shaman is the worst of the Excavates, though. Because you, you... The thing that really sucks about Excavate is that it doesn't stack with Shutter Block, right? Like, your one drops don't become tens. Your one drops just become four drops three different times. Right? Like, if they're in your hand because they get transformed, but they stay the same cost. Evolving to Doomsayer flashbacks is also that, but... That's not likely to happen because you're evolving things by three, right? Where are the dog at? She's in the kennel. It's very hard to see her. I, I think I might need to... This is something I might need to do with the doggo cam. Where it's like... Because, like, sometimes she lays in the kennel. Sometimes she lays in the bed. So that's why I have both on the camera. Because that way I don't have to, like, keep moving it around. But she just she just naps when I stream, dude. Like, I take I take her on a walk before... Uh, before uh, I took her on a walk before start of the stream. And I'll let her stretch her legs a little bit, and instead of like resting by my feet, she just she just takes a nap. I don't know why. She has stealth, exactly, dude. She's she's a five mana five five with stealth. She is literally uh, a tiger, but a dog. So there is the. Oh God, wait! This code is literally gonna be said per letter, bro. Why would you do this? Hi, Clark. Why would you, you do this? Oh my God! Why would you do this, bro? Deck. Are you try harding on day three of rotation? Shame on you. Maybe consider Highlander Pally so you can play Spirit of the Badlands on 3 and have fun. If this goes to TTS Ema, cry AAECA. Oh god, wait. Twi Twitch is actually smart. It stopped that from, be from being said. Wait a minute. Okay, you tried to get me, Micaiah. You tried, but you failed. Alright? But I will remember this. I will. Wait, what? Is it the way? Dude, it's the way. I don't care about a taunt. I don't care about a murloc. I care about disrupting my opponent. Yo, eat that, bro. Nice coin, by the way. Nice nice spells that you got from the wand maker. It's a two drop now. Nerd. <laughs> but yo, Micaiah, thank you for the uh, for the three months, man. Welcome back to the horde. One more Wait, it's three months in a row. Oh, it's for the nine months. Welcome for the nine months. Bro, we have a kid together? Wait a minute. Don't you actually have a child? Bro, you have another one now. What, what are we naming it? Are we are we naming it Finley? We're naming it Finley, okay? I've I've already I've already made this decision. We're naming it Finley now. And you and you cannot back out of this. Yes, but I love Arts. <laughs> I want to name it Spear of the Badlands. 
Hmm. Wait, hold on. Spirit. Just name it Spirit, bro. Spirit of the Badlands. That could be the name on the death. Uh, on, on the on the. I almost said death certificate. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> uh, that could be the name on the birth certificate, but Spirit is gonna be the name we we tell kids. Okay. Ima imagine having to explain the, to the kids what what a Badlands is. Imagine that. All right, big boys, big boys. I got lots of big boys. Where's the bioluminescence? Okay, wrong format, wrong year. There's a new year, there's a new me. We got we gotta let go of those old demons, you know? What about Druid? Dude, Druid is dying right now. I, I, I think the problem with Druid is that they only got like support for like spell damage combo, right? Like, if, if spell damage Druid wasn't good, Druid is gonna flop this expansion. So the only hope for Druid is old archetypes. Like Dragon Druid, like Highlander Druid is probably good, but I don't think anyone's playing it. Cause it doesn't have any shiny new toys. No one likes Druid? That's not true, man. Druid's my my number one most played class. So that is just factually incorrect. Especially on this stream. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I, I like me I like me some Druid, but Druid right now is kinda I, I like I played a little bit of Druid last night. I actually threw a game against Pizza on uh, during uh I threw a game against Pizza while he was streaming. So there's literal evidence of me playing the deck. But I had lethal, and I and I actually had, had a pretty sick combo. But it's it's got a patches effect. I put in small one in the deck. But if you draw the minions before you draw in small one, then what are you gonna do? But I think it's small one is the only way to make Druid even work. You just gotta discount the the combo cards. Like Druid is all in on combo right now. Okay, that's annoying, but that doesn't win the game. Okay, what the hell, bro? Wait, those are all the plagues, right? There's no more plagues in the deck. There, there be no more plagues. Okay, hold on a minute. I can play this. This goes back to three. Because I'm like, I'm tossing up like Horizon Deputization Aura, but if I do that, I have to put Horizon on the right. So that way this gets the buff. We could play Gem, actually. If we play Gem, we have four mana into two mana, but then I don't have one mana to flex, so there's not really a point to do that. Path to choose. We got a 9-5 Leroy. That's why I really just want to throw out the aura. Okay, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. We're, we're just gonna try and end the game. Because if we have a minion that sticks, Leroy into Stalactite just ends it, does it not? The new Druid portrait, not Whizbang track at level 100, looks pretty cool. Is that the owl one? I saw, uh, I saw Fino using some of the new skins during the Theocraft event. And if that is the owl one, he actually has a very good, he has very good voice lines. I love his voice. I may be old, but I'm not slow. Something something to that effect. It's very, very low voice. Maxi is the one trying to make it work. He agrees with me uh, that it's probably tier zero if you can pilot it. Wait, uh, what? Uh, priest? Wait, what are you guys talking about? How about Nature Shaman new improve? It's Nature Shaman. Okay. Nature Shaman is possible without bioluminescence. We proved that. However, there was the other part of the puzzle where if the meta was not favorable from Nature Shaman, it would fall apart. The meta is not favorable for Nature Shaman. Raza Miracle Priest, the deck is insanely strong, but impossible to play. What do you mean impossible to play? Send me a list, I'll, I'll take a look at it. I'll tell you if it's actually impossible or if people are just gaslighting you. Okay, um... So he just ate things. He he num 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 numbed everything. At the same time, I can make this have eight. Wait, can I kill that? Eight, ten, twelve. What would Uther do? It's not enough to kill it, right? Like I have to just turn it into a two two next turn. Oh wait a minute, I have I have Terum. Wait, can I kill it with Terum? No, no, I can't kill it with Terum. I don't have a rush. If I find a rush from this, I could. Okay, what am I what am I what supposed to do Uther here? I want to play Amatis. Double ter oh, wait a minute. Double Tarim. Double Tarim gets rid of that. Oh, you're a genius. Oh, you're actually correct. I didn't even consider Double Tarim. And we got to watch the order so that way... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. You're a genius, bro. I love you. Uh, may Maybe I should have put this over here because it turns into a 4-1. And then it's less favorable to trade into. That might have been wrong. Dude, like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I didn't think about playing both, both miniatures in the same turn like that. That was that was just a call. Clark is a big streamer, and now he doesn't read our comments anymore. Chat just moves so quickly now, and it's like I I look at the the the, the game for a turn, and then I look over, and then chat's completely new now, man. 
I am trying to keep up, I promise. I am trying to keep up. <laughs> Is Excavate better, uh, a better hand buff paladin? It might be. It might be just because you keep pressuring minions throughout the entire game. I don't think you run out of gas as easily with this kind of deck. Uh, okay, you can have a 3-1. You can have a 3-1. There's too many people watching first world problems. It's not even that. It's not even that, dude. Like, my stream doesn't... Okay, my stream compared to, like, Fino and, like, the other Hearthstone streamers, we're, we're still kind of small. We're, like, a fifth of their size. That's, that's small, no matter how you look at it. But the difference between our stream and other streams, exactly. Dark Jester has got it, man. This chat is very active. This is a, this is a hectic chat that we have here because we got a lot of chatty people here. I don't know why. I don't know why y'all are so chatty. Maybe, maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe I need to figure out that reason. Maybe I'm, maybe there, maybe it's something that I'm putting out. Yours always is. Yeah, exactly, man. I'm totally active and introverted. Yo, what's going on, Nicola? <laughs> are you listening to King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard? Uh, this is uh, Cut Me Down by the Dahmers. Uh, but hold on a minute. The person who recommended that band to me was someone that I met at Blizzard. Are you that guy? Because I will say this right now. I do love King Gizzard uh, and the Lizard Wizard. Uh, it, wait, the, the, the Lizard Wizard, Gizzard, Bizzard, what Blizzard. Oh my God, please put me out of my misery. <laughs> okay, hold on. So it's it's Safe Pilot, Shroopscavate, so that way I can clear everything. But at the same time, I lose my Shroopscavate. But it's the only way to clear everything. All right, hold on. Hold on, we're, we're, go we're going for a trip. We're going on a trip on our favorite rocket ship. Like, dude, look at that tempo, though. Look at that tempo. Oh, my God. Dude, Nomrella legit. Lo Nomrella legit, dude. <laughs> I'm, take I'm taking a guess. I I'm, I'm, in I'm in his head. I'm in his GTS head, dude. Last time that Dwizzy underneath. was telling me about a deck, uh, it was Reno Lock. ADHD streamer, ADHD chat. You know that is true. That is true, dude. Safe pilot at nailing it for a few months now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Safe pilot OP in two games now. We're going to a trip. Hand buff another stick. <laughs> Soar through the sky the skies, man. Little Leroy's Han. Okay, Einstein's. How would how do we make that work? Einstein's, uh. Little Tarums? No. Little Tigresses? I don't know. You should let him win. He's kawaii. What? Um, okay. He is kawaii. I will give you that. He is very kawaii. And he is playing apparently rainbow DK. That is based. But if you would look at my, if you would look at my rank, there is a problem here. And we have to fix it. It is a very big problem. It, it has to be fixed. Okay. Hold on a minute. Uh, what's the, what's the best turn here? Which path? To I want to, I want to, I want to play the Amatis in order to make his threats not threats. But at the same time, hmm. I actually think it's Amatis into uh, the the gem. So then next turn I could play the dragon, maybe buff the card that comes out of the gem, and then just just swamp everything. Cause what's Leroy at? Leroy's at a nine five. This gets plus three plus three, so he goes to twelve. We can give him sixteen attack. That's a lot. That's a, we're essentially building our own Clyde Magnet Narcotic Explosion, except we can give this Wind Fury. So I think I like this the most. We discover first. Oh wait a minute. No, it's gotta be Clown. Clown deals damage. I will not forsake you. Cease your quarrel at once. Yo! I'm just gonna do this now. Dude, the clown! Hold on a minute, bro. The clown! The cl like, I was I was originally thinking MCT, because I'm like, he's gonna go wide. But this also just works. Alright, no poison. Oh he ri he rips it off the did he rip that off the, he ripped that from the top he ripped that off the top right he ripped that off the top oh my god you bastard all right it's, it's it's fine it's it's fine hold on a minute it's it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's actually fine so we do this everything everything's big now it's fine. It's fine. Just 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 go face. That's all I have to do, right? Like we got big Leroy. Leroy's at 12. I can maybe play this to play to be defensive if I need to. But we're also got this in order to like kill these. We definitely need to kill this fucker. But the question is, do I get rid of the card draw and try to lock him out that way? I just want to kill him next turn. 
Okay, we do this first, see what the, what the one drop is. Maybe it's like the deal two. Okay, it's the deal two, sweet. So this always has to happen. Oh wait, shit, order. Oh fuck, order. Act now. Give that minion a turn to get ready. A mister. Oh, oh. All right, I gave him an extra draw. Send the rest upstairs. I don't think I need to though. Cause think of it this way: if he plays climactic, he heals back up anyway, right? Like I need to, I need this board to kill him immediately. So we gotta stick it. And honestly, this is sticking it, right? Because he hits this here. I've still got 11, uh, 15. Weapon plus Leroy still ends it. So right now we're just building up 30 total on the board. We're not trying to send it upstairs, I don't think. Because Climactic would have would have made a very like I think Climactic would have up would have ended the game in his favor. They made another card after Tice. Wait, how? Wait, did I miss a joke about Tice? The Leroy OTK? I mean, the Leroy OTK is theoretical, but I don't have the Shroomscavate. So maybe I gotta play this deck until we have that happen. Would Freebird work in this? I don't think Freebird would. Like, if if Deckhand doesn't make its way into this deck, Freebird definitely doesn't, right? Yeah, exactly what Alex is saying. Like, if, it, if we don't run Deckhand, like, Freebird is just way too expensive, is it not? Okay, he top decked the crop. I, I dealt with it. I, I made the right decision. What? That don't matter. Okay, uh, so this is, is this lethal? 11, uh, 11, 13, 13, 14. I am one off, are you kidding me? <laughs> why do I, why do I bother? 11, 13, 14. Oh, wait a minute, the aura, this does draw aura. Wait a minute. Wait, is that lethal? No, it's not lethal because I don't have the mana to play Leroy. But that just wins. Oh my god. I was, I was too busy counting lethal. I was just too busy counting the lethal. Oh, I technically should have played this, right? Okay, we, we, we tend to... Okay, well, you know, yeah, you know, eh. Just dome him. Uh, I mean, come on. That was the only play. Like, I'm not playing the instrument text. There's no weapon in the deck. That was the only other play. Like, he, he's like, well, Mal, you're welcome. You didn't think about it. It's like, bro, I was counting. I was making sure it wasn't lethal. Sometimes you accidentally miscount, right? But then after counting and making sure that I'm not an idiot, and I wasn't. I was one damage off. It was 23, not 24. Even if I would have played into the uh, the aura correctly. Well, actually, I, I could play the aura. I didn't have the mana. But still, man. The Citadel stands Clarky Poo needs his finger counting for a dull laugh. Alright, we didn't get to play the big Leroy, but he's there in spirit. He, he knew it's there. Alright, he knew it was there. Have I seen any Overheal Priest today? I haven't seen Overheal Priest since day one, honestly. I feel like the only one playing it is Maxi, Kales, and, uh, and Micaiah. I think those are the only people playing that deck. Wait a minute, this has... Why does this have such high stats? There's no way this is a keep. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep it. Whatever, I buy what I want. Exactly. Okay. All right. All right. Well. All right. Well. I guess we're gonna find out how good this card actually is. I guess we're gonna find out how good this card actually is. All right. Don't trust the Mulligan stats. They always seem really off to me. I mean, the expansion's been out for like what three days. The stats aren't gonna be trustworthy yet. They. They. they <laughs> there's not enough data to 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 re rely on it. You know. So that's not really the most unusual thing. I mean, it was like that before the expansion, but I'm also at a higher MMR. It's trying to give me stats that spit out numbers that make sense at my at my rank. That's why the numbers are off. Because sometimes the numbers aren't there, but it's got to spit out something anyway. Okay, this was a saving top deck. I needed this. I needed this. Give Give weapon to me. Now we're not hopelessly going to fall behind. We have a way of maybe building this back up because we have a high skill cap, right? My my skill level is so high and so large. I have the largest skill gap. 
I think, uh, wait, Mariah? You mean Makaya, right? He's playing a different deck yesterday. Makaya was playing uh, Highlander Paladin. And honestly, I'm kind of intrigued by it. Okay, weapon first. Holy shit, man, the difference. The difference is insane. I mean, he coined weapon. Vers he literally had the weapon out two turns before me. That's like actually massive. Is this actually just GG now? I mean, the the the, the horizon is our is our comeback. What Wait a minute. The horizon is the comeback. What do we do with the rest of the three mana though? Deputization feels kind of bad because we might need it for a comeback. Do? Shroomscavate doesn't do anything. M Wait, maybe is it ever Shroomscavate? Because maybe I'm playing Deputization or an next turn and this might stick. I don't think so. Because he hits here, trades here, trades here. Hmm. One minion goes here, so that never happens. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking, bro. You're you're that much ahead of me. I have to actually think about my fucking turn. It's probably better to set up this to maybe play the deputization aura next turn. Okay. It just sucks, man. Like I can't I can't break through this. The the, the four threshold was too much for me. And now, if he's got a rush card in hand, we just lose, right? All right, all right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this because this is probably gonna go into the video. Blizzard, why does every Paladin card either have Divine Shield, Rush, Life Steal, or quite literally all three? There is so much Life Steal and so much Rush in Paladin that cards like Deputization Aura are mind-boggling to me. And I was complaining about this card last year, but now I think that it might become a, like a legitimate problem. Like, cause I've got no umbrella in order to deal with the board, but the placement, oh my God, dude, the placement was perfect. He perfectly played around this. The question is, do I have another play that I can make? Cause I can do this in a deputization to hide behind taunts. Wait, that's a legit play. Wait, hold on a minute. That is a way to come back, guys. Yo, I'm I'm chilling, right? And then Nomrella comes back and ends it. And I feel like I have to do this just to make sure that I don't get eaten. Cause I I need I need Nomrella to end the game. But they also have oh my god, there's so much attack on these things, man. His his placement is very important here, and I think he already missed uh misplayed on the placement. They just always aren't right for the matchup, uh, just an estimate. Yeah, exactly. It's usually just an estimate on the stats. Okay, that's 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 good. That's really good. I'm not gonna knock that out. That's actually really good for this deck. Wait a minute. Is that better than the copies? Dude, this is this has to be the better Zilliax. Wait a minute, this 100 percent has to be the better Zilliax. Cause this just works with deputization. Like, dude, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. You buff this, you play it on turn five, on turn six, this just ends the game. Cause it goes to four, and then it goes to eight. You play Deputization Aura, it goes to 11. And if you already have Deputization Aura, oh my god, dude, wait a minute. That is nuts. This actually is the better Zilliax, 100%. Which path to choose? Okay, so we can do this here, this here. It doesn't, oh my, oh, it, it doesn't even knock this out. It doesn't even knock it out. You can't Shroomscavate it, can't. Oh, wait a minute, it's got Elusive, doesn't it? Oh, it's got Elusive. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, no, I'm an idiot. You're right. Sorry, my, my brain has not 100% accepted elusive as a keyword yet, you know? Like, I see that it's there, but I don't immediately think about spells and, uh, and hero powers. But, like, still, like, look at that, man. You can still target it with this! Oh, my God, man. What the hell? He's just gonna let that sit. I literally can't deal with it. Holy God, man. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shroomscavate on this is not gonna be enough. Sag, very sag. All right, the only way that I can even win. <laughs> oh my god, I I I, ca I can't even begin to win this game, right? Because this is just gonna double up, and I'm just dead. This has to hit. This has to hit taunt. This literally needs to hit taunt. It's the only out. It got Wind Fury. The one the one time where Wind Fury wasn't the high roll. That's crazy, man. All right, yeah, that that's the way to play this, actually. I think that if this deck had that Zilliax, then this deck is perfect. Because after seeing that, like, the curve is just so real. I think I want to make that change immediately. 
This is my favorite Tenacious D song. Dude, this is my favorite too. This is the only Tenacious D song I've done karaoke for.